Okay, we're looking again at our NRL career videos. We've done a few of them in recent weeks. Uh, we're returning to that series, and we're looking at the career of Mitch Orbison, uh, the Sydney Roosters utility. Now, when I say utility, he was primarily a second row or centre, so he could play in the forwards or in the backs, but he played every position on the field if needs be uh, because of either injury, suspension, or even in-game. A player goes off with uh, a sin binning, a, an injury... He could, you know, fill in anywhere. And I think that's one of the reasons why he didn't play at state of origin level and has never been selected for Australia at international level. I think he got overlooked uh, for rep honours because of his the fact he was a utility. He could play every position on the field. But for the Sydney Roosters, he is the record appearance holder. He's surpassed Minicello, Anthony Minicello, surpassed him by several, I think by four appearances. He leads the appearance list for the Sydney Roosters with 306. Uh, Anthony Minicello had 302. Uh, so to surpass Anthony Minicello is a fantastic achievement in its own right. The length of his career started in 2007, ended in 2020, so a 13-year first-grade career. Uh, he did play um, in City Country Origin, and he played the two games. And he did have a lot of, uh, you know, league honours to his name. He had, the, he had four minor premierships and three... NRL Premiership, and he got a runners-up medal as well. So he wasn't, you know, he was part of a very good uh, Roosters setup um, in the last decade. So his time at the Sydney Roosters is a very successful spell for himself and the team. So let's have a look at it. He makes his debut way back when in 2007, and as I say, he retired in 2020. With the Sydney Roosters, he played a grand total of 306 games. As I say, he surpassed Anthony Minicello's appearance record in the, the COVID-impacted 2020 season. In his time at the Sydney Roosters, in those 306 games, he scored 68 tries for a grand total of 272 points. He never kicked any goals or field goals or penalties. Anyway... But because he was a utility, a utility player, he could fill in outside of his two standard positions, which were um, second row or uh, centre. Uh, I think that's why he gets overlooked for um, higher rep levels. He does play two games with New South Wales country in 2016 and 2017. Doesn't score any points, no tries. But it's the it's the it's the team he is part of. Three consecutive minor premierships uh, in the uh, mid. Uh, 2010s out of the four minor premierships he's a member of that team with they achieved the minor premiership two of them are minor premiership nrl premiership doubles as well and he played in uh, four grand finals uh so he really was an integral part of this sydney roosters side and i do believe well hutchinson is a very good player he's not on the same level of mitch orbison the same level of flexibility as mitch orbison and the sydney roosters are missing the experience of Mitch Orbison um, in that squad, in that team. And I honestly believe if he played an extra season or two, uh, he would have been, obviously had more appearances, but I think the Sydney Roosters would have possibly got further uh, in the finals because they've had a lot of injuries and he was key in filling in the gaps. He had injuries himself. That is what is so amazing about his, his career. He could have played more games. He's played over 300 games. He could have played about 350 if it wasn't for injury uh, throughout his career. Minor premierships, 2013, 2014, 2015, three uh, consecutive minor premierships and in 2018. NRL premierships, 2013 and the back-to-back -back premierships in 2018, 2019 and he was also a runner-up in 2010. Now his predominant position was in the forward pack as a second row but as his career goes on, he does play a lot um, in the centres as well. And he's a very effective centre. Um, he can play the 80 minutes. He was an 80 minute player. He was also a utility interchange. So if a, a front row prop or a hooker goes down, one of the other outside backs, he'll come on and he'll fill a position. Um, he could even do that on a short to medium term basis as well. And towards the end of his career, the Sydney Roosters have a lot of injuries decimating their side. The fact they're playing so much extra rugby league because they keep making the finals, they keep winning minor premierships, they keep winning the premiership. He has to fill in when other key players go down. He, I think, does get overlooked. The fact he only has two rep appearances in, in city country, no state of origin, no international appearances, is because of his the utility aspect of 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 
of his play. Um, but he's a fantastic player, and I do believe the Sydney Roosters are actually missing you know, his imprint on the side, his importance to the team. Um, and I don't think his club record gets touched for a very, very long time. I don't think anyone gets near that 306 appearances for a long time. Yeah, I think that appearance record with the team is safe uh, for some time. And you can't overstate his impact and his importance to that team. You need players like a Mitch Robertson to, to win premierships and, and win minor premierships along the way. So there you go. There's a brief look at the career of Mitch Orbison. Um He was part of a very dominant uh, Sydney Roosters side, and they're still a very competitive side now. Um, whether they win the, the, the premiership overall this year outside the top four, they could be the first team in the NRL era since 98 to do that. Um, we'll wait and see. But Two minor Premiership and NRL Premiership doubles, uh, four grand finals and three Premierships to his name. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.